It was a week ago that Premier Ford announced he was putting up his open for business road signs. In coming weeks, these signs are going to be up on the highways at the border crossings across Ontario. I think they're going to look great at every single crossing. First question that came to mind was, how much are Ontario taxpayers shelling out for these signs? Though I quickly found out that getting a straight answer wouldn't be so easy. How much will those signs cost the taxpayers? I'm not too sure, but I'll find out. I'll find out for you and get back to you. When will you know the price, sir? When will you know? Uh, I, over the next uh, few days, we should expect to have some, some more information. You'll share that the cost. Ontario how much do they open, cost, sir? Ontario is open for business. Just think how much money it's going to bring yes. in. Minister, it's been a few days. Any update on those uh, open for business signs? How much are they costing now? I'm sure you have an idea now. I am looking forward to uh, getting those signs uh, erected. It was only today that the Premier's office finally revealed the numbers. 25 signs will be upgraded or replaced at 18 locations. Most cost between 3000 and 8000 The total cost... 106,700 bucks. So 106K, yeah, that's just a tiny fraction of the overall Ontario budget. It's not big, but critics say the problem lies in that open for business line because they say that's a campaign slogan. In fact, this uh, was the premier during the campaign with that very slogan underneath the microphone. And the NDP say they're concerned that the premier is going to spend more taxpayer money on these slogans going forward. I generally am worried, actually. I mean, this is, a, this is a premier who's truly adopted, you know, the populist agenda where slogans and signs and ranting and raving actually has become the new norm here at Queen's Park. And that's not how you instill confidence in the economy. Ford unveiled the first of the signs today at a border crossing near Sarnia. Okay, you ready? There we go! <laughs> Finally, it's come to fruition. We're making sure that we create an environment to tell the world Ontario's open for business. But was Ontario closed for business? I asked the top economist at the Bank of Montreal. Things could have been better. Um, you know, we, we actually saw a bit of an updrift in, say, you know, top marginal tax rates and corporate rates in, in recent years. There was a bit of an increase in, in regulation overall. But, you know, I think the uh, the end result is, is, is really what matters and, and overall, you know, the economy managed to overcome those uh, those hurdles. We actually got the October employment numbers in for Ontario today. It showed the province's unemployment rate falling to 5.6 percent. That's the lowest in decades. 83,000 jobs created over the past 12 months. Richard Southern, City News.